Barty, thank you. WJZ's complete coverage continues. Devin Bartolotta with the WJZ Mobile Weather Lab at Artscape and how the heat is impacting the festival so far. Hi, Devin. Hi, Jess. I have definitely layered on the sunscreen, and we are feeling that heat that Marty has talked about. Artscape here opened just about an hour ago, and we're already seeing lots and lots of people here, but all of those people are battling the same heat. We're going to take a look at the weather lab here. The actual temperature just under 90 degrees, but when we look what the feels like, it's about five degrees warmer at 95 degrees, and that's because of the humidity that Marty talked about that's out here. It is really warm, and Artscape is prepared to keep all of these people as cool as possible over the next weekend. America's largest free arts festival is in full swing, putting thousands of local artists and musicians on the center stage. Whether it's for the food, the live music, painters, or other craft savvy artists, Artscape is expected to bring in more than 300,000 people over the weekend. Organizers know Artscape is usually one of the hottest weekends of Baltimore's summer and want visitors to keep it cool through this code red heat advisor. So we're hoping for a great turnout, but we also realize it's very hot. So we encourage people to come out, but we also encourage people to be safe too. So that's why at Artscape, there are lots of options when you come to Artscape to stay cool. Now again, Artscape is open now. Some of those options that Tracy talked about, there are lots of indoor exhibits at MICA and at the University of Baltimore here where you can play games and even look at some art inside. There's also an MTA bus that is pumping that air conditioning that you can sit inside and cool off for just a few minutes if you need it. Reporting live at Artscape, I'm Devin Bartolotta, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Devin, thanks so much.